Biafra, Edere ya naburi, Abakiari, Mamanda ora, Unapugi meri namde, Namde windy war, Python dance one, Python dance two, and Python dance three, Unapugi meri namde. Biafran religion is all about common sense. Biafra is our religion. Our topic today is about Biafran religion and what religion means in the world. So we are just coming to teach people what they call common sense. One of the reasons why God sent Aaron to go with Moses to deliver message to Pharaoh is because Moses don't know how to talk. So God gave him Aaron to assist him because Aaron is an elder. He can speak. These are the reasons. Today is Sunday. Many people are in the church today. Many people went to church. But I keep wondering today now, what are they going to hear? Is it going to be different to what they have been hearing? We've been preaching the Bible, King James Version, for very many years now. But there is no change in people's life. This time around, Namdekano has come up with a different idea. We come to notice that Jesus Christ is the founder of Christianity. He is the Alpha and the Omega. They call him Yahweh Yeshua, the only begotten Son of God. Muhammad is the founder of Islam. So, Namdekano is the founder of Biafran religion. Many people don't even know that there, there are equipos groups that called Namdekano disciple. It has been existing for a very long time now. Namdekano disciple, Namdekano gospel. The gospel of Biafra is all about the truth. The gospel of Biafra is all about opening up the, 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 the nyash, the kulo of those corrupt politicians. It is well known today that Ojo Zokano is the one that instigated Ruga in Biafran land. In 2011, in 2001, Ojo gave Lord Banta, Lord Banta, Lord Buku, between Isochi to Fulani for their settlement to do Ruga. From there, they have been raping our women. They have been killing our people. Nobody did anything because Ojo Zakano authorized them to do whatever they like after giving them acres of land. And what 
our preachers in the house of God is telling us is that if they slap you in this year, turn the other year. Then they ask, how many times will they slap you before you retaliate? They say 70 times, 70 times, 70 times. But in the gospel of Biafra, in the gospel of Unandekano, we are not going to wait for such long for Hausa Fulani to keep on slapping us. Because Hope, Hope was Odimba, the Fulani appointee governor. Is now trying the same thing which also Zokano did in Abia State. He wants to do the same experiment in Olo. Then today, ESN came and they rescued Olo people. Today, we have seen more, many of those people that said that Nam Dekano is not doing it right. Many of those people that said that IPOBs are not doing it right. We have seen them. Today, they turn back now, and they realize that what IPOB and then Nam Dekano is doing is very right. Because we can't fold our hands, wait for Fulani people to take our land. Everything is in the, in, is in the open place now. I have to be here in the way they plan the Ruga through Ojo Zokano, later they put Ojo Zokano in the prison. Ojo Zokano gave them guarantee that he will assassinate Nam the Kano. They, they release him from prison so that he can bring in Nam the Kano in. That's why he's giving Nam the Kano offer to come back so that Nigeria they can give him the kingship. So now, we know whom we are following. Biafra is our religion. Biafra is all about common sense. Biafra teaches you common sense. We have Quran. We read Quran. We read Bible. We go deep inside all these things. Then we find out that all we need is to be alive and worship Chuko Kikabiyama. And no, nothing more, no less, no minus. We must be alive to worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of Eri. The God of God. I am advising the pastors today that open their churches to change topic in their churches. There are a lot of pastors, a lot of bishops, a lot of prophets that understand what life is all about now. It is because we have been crying. We have been shouting. We have been calling them to understand what they call common sense. If you want to learn what they call common sense, then you go to Radio Biafra. You go to Radio Biafra, then you will understand what common sense is all about. There is no way you can continue to follow your pastor who is telling you that you should turn your ear. They, they will keep on slapping you as long as they like. This is not what we are doing. This is not why we are here. We are here to save life. We are here to stay alive to worship God Almighty. We see today, Yul Edochie, the son of, of Peter Edochie, the same man who came and accused us that we are insulting the elders. Today, his own son has finally recognized the truth. Now, he joined the queue. We'll be calling on all the actors, all the actresses, all the pastors in Biafra land, all the musicians, all the gospel, gospel singers, all those people that have their followers, change topic and put sense inside your followers. Because I understand that many Pentecostal people or many Christians in Nigeria, they worship their pastor. They worship their pastor. They are not worshiping God. They worship their pastor. And the, all these people are the same people. Nam the Kano has come to save. All these people are the same people who is suffering. All these people are the same people whom Fulani, pe Fulani people rape their sisters and their brothers. Fulani people 
use their own cow to destroy their farmland. And when you talk and advise their pastors to change topic, the same church members will go against you. You will become their enemy. I wonder what people is thinking in their own faculty. Somebody is telling you how it will be good for you. Somebody is telling you how you can be alive. Somebody is telling you you're right. And you turn and you become against that person just because your pastor is not supporting. Today, powerful, powerful man of God has realized what is really going on. They came up now. They want to build Igbo land the way Igbo land will be. Pastors now, the people that know how to call on God Almighty, they have many of them stood up now. Many of them stand up now, prophesying, telling you people what you should do so that Igbo land can be great again. I am telling you, Igbo land can be great again because the, the people, they said, many are called, but few is choosing. We can go on sharing our messages because we will preach Biafran gospel. Biafran gospel is what we come to preach. When we preach Biafran gospel, we are preaching that Nyanwood said that he will sabotage anybody that is against his own freedom in Biafran land. He will sabotage anybody. That say that what Fulani people is doing is bad. That he will sabotage anybody that criticize the rape, the killings, which Fulani people is doing in our land today. Nyanwodu said this. It is on the camera. And the camera captured it. And as we are going on, we saw Wike. When Wike is slaughtering Igbo people, you know Bibo, only for him, to gain a, a political appointee in Abuja. And we are telling some people, change topic and tell your followers what they should know. Change topic because... Change topic and tell your followers what they should know. But you go on criticizing all these people who is clamoring for change. You go on criticizing all these people who said that there should be a revolution. Many people live in Europe where they have a revolution. They change their country. They change their destiny. Many people live in Italy. Italy once have a revolution. Many people live in Spain. They wear their good suit. Wear dust will not hit them. Because Spain has revolution. That is why you come to Spain and you live in Spain. This is why you go to Europe and you live there because they had the revolution and they have been able to remove all the bad leaders. Then they change their country. They write a better constitution to their people. That is what we are advising all the pastors to do. Pastors should know that we should be alive to worship this God we are calling upon. Nobody is against Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, the only begotten Son of God. But when, you, when we people come up and tell you people that through IPOB and the religious of Unnan Dekano, we can be saved again and they call upon the name of Jesus Christ. And they will call us Antichrist. They will say that we don't know Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the same person that has the same lineage between me and you in Igbo land. But I thank God a lot of pastors have realized their mistakes. Many of them are coming back now. Many of them have, re have realized their mistakes. Many of them have been changing the topic now, telling their followers what to do. But when some people say it, tell some pastors what, what they should do, they will say, you should not bring your own idea in the house of God. You should not bring your own idea in the house of God. Why you see that my mother is being raped? When you see that the Fulani people, they bring their cow and they eat our farmland. Then, you have multitude in your church. And when you talk, everybody will turn and become your enemy. And they will misunderstand you. Nobody to guide them. Why, what is the reason why God sent Aaron to go with Moses and deliver a message 
is to only to direct the words how it's supposed to go. That is the only reason. Because Aaron know how to talk. A lot of pastors know how to speak. A lot of pastors know how to talk. They get the inspiration. They get the ideas. They get many things they have inside them. But something is missing. That thing that is missing is that if you are not a pastor, they are not ready to take advice from you. Then it becomes religious bondage. That is why you see that everybody is clamoring today because we are under religious bondage. Now we are worshipping under Radio Biafra. Internet. We must take the advantage of internet to preach this holy gospel of Biafra. Because Biafra is our religion. The religion of Biafra is all about common sense. So that we can let you know that you voted Ojo Zokano in power for him to do what you want. For him to give you road. For him to give you light. For him to give you electricity. But he failed to do it. And you call them elites. You voted Buhari inside power. Because of what? He can build Niger Bridge. Give you light. Give you water. And make your life easy. But today, what are you people doing? You have no power to reclaim your rights, but you are the one that vote them in. We are here to teach you people what you don't know. If pastors, those people that have that certificate as pastor cannot do it, then we can tell them how to do this thing. Today, you, Rodoche, Flavor, many of all those art, 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 artists, they are now reco recognizing IPOB. They are now recognizing what IPOB is doing. They are now recognizing what Nandekano is doing. Because all we are talking about is to preach the holy gospel of Biafra land. Muhammad preached his own. Islam, they carry, they carry it the way they carry it. Jesus preached his own. We followed him. That's why when you come to Igbo land, in Biafra land, all of us are Christian. But the kind of Christian we are, are not the, now in this present time of revolution. Uh, it's not the kind of Christian that will accept Fulani raping your mother in front of you. You keep quiet. Then when you talk, some church members will go against you. Some church members will begin to criticize you as if you are doing anything abnormal. What is happening to you people? If your pastor, maybe your pastor is gaining from, from Nigerian government. But you should know that if you fail to preach Biafran gospel, Fulani will come and rape your mother in front of you and you cannot do anything. If you fail to do anything, that means you are not the son of your, or your father. So this is what we are talking here is we are advice, calling on the pastors. We are calling on the pastors and all those gospel singers. Because religion concerns me. That's why I speak about religion. But today, Biafra is our religion. Biafra religion is all about common sense. Who is telling me that that you don't know that when you begin to publicate all these things going on in Biafra land, all those atrocities, or promote what IPOBs are doing. Don't you know the impact? Don't you know what that thing is promoting in the world? I am on Twitter. Trump received my Twitter. Mark Pompeo received my Twitter. Washington, Washington DC received my Twitter. And many of them respond to my Twitter because I tell them Nam De Kano is our leader. And this is what Biafra is all about. Because many of these people don't even know that anything good can come out of Biafra land. Many of this Western world, they don't even know that anything good can come from Africa. Now is not the time we can go to the bar and begin to share experiences that have no value, that will not give us any benefit. We will share our, our own idea on the internet so that many people can watch. And they Picture the ones they can. Because there is power in the internet. The way, the, 
during the time of Abraham, the way, the way Abraham used to worship God is different to the way it is now. Now is the power of internet. Through, through internet, you can be able to share your own message. We have seen Mark Zuckerberg. He blocked Trump because he has the power of information. He controls information. He blocked Umnan de Kano. He blocked me. Mark Zuckerberg blocked me no less than seven times now. Because they have the power of informa information. But the little opportunity we have, we will use it to tell the people what they don't know. And we will use it to tell the people that is in front. All the people that is in front, who am I referring to? The artists, the gospel singers, the pastors, the deacons, the deaconesses, the ushers in the church, the choir masters. You people are the people that is leading in any organization. Try to let them know. Let your followers know what they should do. Oduduwa now is getting up. Before, Oduduwa used to criticize what Nandekano is doing. Today, Sunday, Iboho stood up. Where did he learn what he is doing? He learned what he is doing to do what Nandekano is doing. Now, he took refuge from Nandekano. Now they are calling on middle belt. Someone should raise up a middle belt because many of them are Christians. Worshipping the same Jesus Christ. Someone should wake up a middle belt so that all those land will be well protected. That's why they tell you that whenever now they cannot stand up, eh, things will change. Many things will happen. Nostradamus said, a prince will rise from the bottom of the trigger, which no man can stop. His army will liberate the entire Africa, and he will bring back peace to the world at large. If Bible used to go on, the, the vision and the prophecy of Nostradamus should also be in the Bible, not only the vision and the prophecy of Jeremiah, Isaiah. What we are doing today is still the gospel. But if Bible is still going on, the vision of Nostradamus will be in the Bible. Then the pastors will have the reason why they should preach their Frank gospel. The one, that man that created ESN. ESN is not only those people you see. With the, with the ammunition, protecting our land, protecting our forest. ESN is all over the world. Ekerorweke. Ekerorweke in different form is, everybody has his own thing he should do in this struggle of Biafra. That is Ekerorweke. There are people inside this struggle today. They know how to publicate this news. They know how to tear this news. They know how to divide it. They know how to, to share the information of Mazen Namdekano. Like this weekend, I used to watch his program. He know what he is doing. There is another guy. Many people, Augustine Okonkwo and the many people, they know what is really going on. If I begin to mention them, then I will go out of my of the things which I, which I come here to preach today. Because this preaching of Biafra is what we are called to do. We must do it. Some people don't know. Some people are dying in agony. Some people don't even want to talk because their pastor did, never authorized them to go on. This is something that baffles me so much. Because your pastor never tell you that you're supposed to be free. That's why you see what IPOB is doing as stupidity. Because your pastor never tell you to go on and they support Nam Dekano and IPOB. That's why when they write something, you will see them. Not many of them will keep quiet. Many of them they know they are suffering. Many of them are suffering hardly in Europe to send money to their family. I am asking you: Will you die in suffering? Will you die in suffering? 
In your father's land, which is Biafran land, you have milk and honey. You have gas. You have coal. You have petrol. You have kerosene. All these things. You have gold. All these things is what God created and put in your own land so that you can be able to live. But you are living outside country like a slave. You live outside country like a slave. Now, many people is coming. Somebody wrote in my timeline, he said that most many of these Namdekano followers have the same vision like in Namdekano. Yes, because on anybody in this world, if you are following someone, you should know why you are following that person and you should be able to acquire some knowledge from that person. A prophet said, that in Nam de Kano, we bring out soldiers. The Nigerian government should go and dialogue now. They fail to do that. But today, we are telling you people that you like it or you don't like it. Biafra must be. And what we have come to do is to preach Biafra gospel. Biafra gospel is all about atrocities going on in that place. Biafran gospel is all about George Obiozo, Mehti Yala appointee as Ohanez Ndibo president. I am asking today George Obiozo, whom Mehti Yala appointed to become the president of Ohanez Ndibo. And this man has been an ambassador in America. This man spent most of his life in America. Then, I am asking all these people, you live in America, number one country in the world. Every science and technology is there. But you didn't feel ashamed to have a meeting on that canopy. Does it mean that all the years you spend in America, it's a wasted years. Someone said, if I could turn back the hands of the time. George Obiozo, if I may ask a question, does it mean that you did not learn anything in America? Does it mean that you don't know that you, as a president of Ohanez Ndibu, supposed to be in a very mighty and well-refined atmosphere? whenever you want to talk but you find yourself under a canopy giving speech the thing they gave you to guide oil and petrol they will use it and they develop chad senegambia but they keep you under a canopy then you are trying you are telling me i should keep quiet these are the things which we are calling everybody on in front to do now Pastors, every other person that is in front. If you know that greatness inside you as an evil man, it is time for you to get up. If you know what makes you to become an evil man, that thing that makes evil people to be unique in this life, that is what we are calling you people now to go on, go on, and the other we why is Igbo people is different? When we are talking about Igbo people, Igbo people, they generated all over Eastern region. Because of divide and rule. Many people rejected their own brothers and sisters. They said there are no more Igbo people. Many people rejected their own brothers, blood brother and sister. Then, why can why should I go on listening to some people who is preaching only King James Version? King James Version, what you preach last five years is what you will preach tomorrow. What you preach last three years is what you preach today. The same Abraham, the same Moses, the same Ruth, the same Peter, the same Paul. Why can't you people change topic? Obi is a boy, it's not every time. Obi can also become a man.
But you people that is in front supposed to grow up. Grow up and know that Obi is now a man. Obi is not a boy. Reading one Bible since the time of colony. Since the time of colonialism, we have been reading King James Version. The same thing you preach last 10 years is the same thing you will preach in the next one coming year. Why can't you people tell people that Buhari is a dead man? What can we do? I heard a pastor, he said that why Africa is suffering is because when the, uh, when Noah, that Noah caused his own son, that Noah said that his own son, because his own son saw the nakedness of his own father, then Noah caused his own son, that his son will become slave upon slave. And a pastor said that that his son, the son of Noah, is located in Africa, which means the source the source of the problem is here now to settle. Finally, he said, this is not the area I want to go. This is not the area he want to go. If you know that Noah cost his own son, that he will become slave upon slave. Now, Jesus Christ has come. He used his own blood and cancel all those costs. Why can't you tell your own followers that the Nam Dekano is doing the right thing which we're supposed to do so that we can be alive to worship Jesus Christ? We can be alive to worship God Almighty. But you said this is not the area you want to go. Why? Because there is something you are hiding as a pastor. There is something you are hiding. You don't want to tell people the real truth. I am asking some of all these people that is on front. Are you not feeling ashamed that your church members are doing prostitution? Are you not feeling ashamed that your church members are into one dirty business and another? Are you not ashamed of that? I think the best thing one should do is, if you know the problem, you find solution to the problem. If you don't have solution to the problem, no need of you opening one warehouse and inviting people in there for them to come and hear the word of God. Word of God is all about life. That's why Biafra teach you only common sense. Biafra is just for you to get sense, something to enter inside your brain. That is all about Biafra. Biafra is our religion. Biafra religion is all about common sense. How you can make one plus one. It, can, it will become two. In the church or in the house of God, they say husband and wife is one plus one, then it's one. Then, that is, when they have children, that is, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But you don't find any reason to give them solution to their problem. You don't have any reason to tell them that the milk and honey, which God placed in their land, has been harvesting in Chad. Are you people trying to tell me that you never see that they put pipe from all people? They remove the pipe in Senegambia. They remove the pipe in Chad. They remove the pipe in Niger. They remove the pipe in Algeria. Are you, are you not telling me that you never see all this thing? If you see all this thing, then teach your followers what they should do. If you are a musician, this is what you should sing also. Flavor is doing it. I have not been able to, to like Flavor the way I wanted to. But the time when Flavor declared himself, he said, Nam the Kanu, you are doing a good job. That is the time I cherished Flavor. Fino is also coming. Fino is also supporting. Today, you read he see the same thing which we saw at the earlier time. You do, don't you? Now, are you not telling me that he is disobeying his father? No, of course. Rather, onye jenje, konyisiawo, amamihe. Because you, do, don't you? is a young guy. He know. He knows the truth. That's why 
he came up now and they make open support. He said, it is not the birthday of Unnam de Kano, but Unnam de Kano what to be celebrated as a hero. The latest news this week is Yuri Doche recognizing the truth. Nobody even expected that. I say kudo for him. Congratulations, because he did what everybody is expecting him to do. We are still waiting upon some people, Genevieve Najiha and there are many other people, for them to recognize this truth. There are other powerful, powerful, powerful man of God then. They are, in my, eh? Let me tell you people in this thing. Now they can accuse the pastors that all pastors are fake. The real pastors that understand what it means. The real bishops they water what life is all about. The real prophets in Biafran land, all of them now have come out and they declare whom what they are and what they can do. Claiming what they represent. That is all about Biafra. That is all about you. That is all about you who is doing birthday party every day in Facebook. That is all about you who is showing your fashion every day, every day in Facebook. You are wasting your energy in Facebook. Why can't you take advantage of Facebook? If they block you, send us a message that Facebook block you for saying the truth. At least I have my own to show. We read Bible. We read Bible. We read Quran. This is today Boka. We read this Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Catholic Bible for that matter, 70 something books. We read it. What, do we, what are we searching for inside, inside this place? Common sense. Common sense. Common sense is what we are searching for in this place. And uh, when it seems that things is not getting right, we go as much as reading Quran as well. All this thing is about common sense. We went as far as reading Quran as well just to know the real game that is going on in this world. Now, ESN has been created by Nam Dekano. In our Biafran gospel, we saw other people, they form ESN, negative one. But nobody wants to defend them. They say they are the army of Biafra. Ohamadike, one of Biafra, he said he can take responsibility of ESN. You people should know how to calculate history and the how to calculate things that is happening inside this Biafran gospel. Because Biafran religion is all about common sense. He came up, that day he made urgent announcement. He can defend anything ESN do. But if anybody is backing Biafran army, let that person come up and defend. Do you know what? Nobody showed face. Nobody came to defend those people they called Biafran army. That is all about the truth. That is, that is how it sounds. Because many people didn't know the reason why Nam the Kano came and do that urgent, urgent mist in that day. Many people don't know. But the reason is, he came to let the whole world know that he created Eastern Security Network. But whenever he will create army, that uh, the Biafran army will come in millions. But anybody who is claiming that he is responsible for Biafran army, let that person come and defend those people. Till today, nobody show face. And till today, nobody come and defend those people. And till today, nobody see those people again. We are teaching you people what they call common sense inside the Biafran Gospel. Biafra religion. Biafra is all about common sense. Make one plus one, how it can be two. Biafrans are the first, the first people that endorsed Donald Trump as a president in 2011. A Biafran prophet. But many people in Biafran land, he doesn't want to recognize that prophet that prophesies that. But if that person happened to be in America, 
Every pastor in Nigeria will be clamoring. Every pastor in Nigeria will be clamoring. Yes, somebody have pro has prophesied. The first person that prophesied about Trump. But because he is an evil man. Okay? Aboraji Ibehama. Ndi Ibehama hold their own. They don't know how to, to, to promote their own. A Biafran, a Biafran, an Igbo man, is the first person that prophesied about Donald Trump in 2011. Today, Donald Trump will become president. Every one of us has seen how the impeachment went. You understand? But no Igbo man, no pastor want to preach about that, past, that prophet that prophesied about Donald Trump. But if TGJs is like a, the person that, that said that thing, you will see every pastor in Nigeria. All of them will put it in their timeline. But TDJs show them, show them backside. TDJs is the first person in America. He declared himself a Biafran. He said his ancestors come from Igbo land. They are Igbo people. Then, a pastor that has his father and his mother in Nigeria, practicing pastorism in Nigeria, he never see any reason to be proud of his own identity. And those people can go myself. Now, let everybody tell his own pastor to change topic. This will not lead you to hell. They did what they called Bible chronology. Bible chronology. They said that Jesus Christ, after they made the mathematics, they said that Jesus Christ will remain four years to come. They forgot when they said in 2000 years, in the year 2000, that Jesus Christ will come. Today we are into 2021. Now they are doing Bible chronology that Jesus Christ will come in the next four years because we are now playing extra time. Playing with the intelligence of God. Playing with, yeah, messing the life of the followers of Jesus Christ. Putting their life in mess. Then, you are telling me if I know this sin, I should keep quiet. And the worst part of it, whenever you begin to say this sin about pastors, church members will become against you. Not knowing that you, why I am saying things that benefit them. For them st to stop all these atrocities going on everywhere. They will become against you. Are you telling me this is in them? After they will say that we insulted them. Now, I will hook myself under you, Redoche. At least we know that Pete Redoche came up. He said that those people are, insult are insulting their elders. Now, you, Redoche, has come up. He said he thought that they are not doing it right. How many people is understanding this thing? He thought. But you read it here. His sin has been forgiven. Because he thought. Now, this is what they called repentance. In the Bible. Repentance is when you rethink. Repentance means rethinking. When you have been able to rethink. Then that is repentance. Repentance does not mean that when you repent. Then Jesus Christ. You will wait that Jesus Christ will appear on the sky. As many pastors are telling their followers that Jesus Christ will appear on the sky. That day, rapture will come. But uh, the same people that wrote King James Version and sent to you in Nigeria, these people are the same people killing you, doing ethnic cleansing to kill you and wipe you out from that place so that they can come there and develop it and make it a marvelous place. But somebody is telling you that you should wait. Wait on God. That he will appear on the sky. Then a rapture will come. Sometimes I used to. Me, I am just. I am here to speak my own mind. I used to make what they called mathematics. Under what is really going on. Inside the children of God. The children of the most high. The children of Elohim. Umu nke chukwo kikabiyama. Umu nke chukwo kikabiyama. Nam de kano said it. When. Eh, eh, eh. But um, Dele Muhammadu made interview. He counted 13 states that made up Biafran land. I am asking pastors, 
Have your people not seen any reason to change the topic and tell your followers that they are the queens, they are the prince, they are the queens, that they should get up in large quantity and they join this revolution that is about to come. Because in Spain, revolution takes place. In Russia, USSR, revolution takes place. In Italy, revolution takes place. In Greece, revolution takes place. In everywhere in this world that is doing good, they did the revolution. Revolution is all about changing the narrative of yesterday. If you don't know what changing of changing the narrative of yesterday means, then go and listen to Simon Eber. Simon Eber have given his own teaching about changing the narrative of yesterday. What is changing the narrative of yesterday? 1914 amalgamation. Changing the law of 1914 amalgamation, that is all we are talking about. And what we bring down this 1914 amalgamation is revolution. Revolution and the revelation in the Bible, they are equally the same. That's why our great leader Namdekano said, Biafra is the last miracle that will happen. If you are worshipping God, I am asking you, why can't you partake in this last miracle? Which is Biafra. Which Jesus Christ himself also prayed. He prayed, he said, Oh Lord, let thy kingdom come. But some pastors never get this thing to their brain. That thing never entered their brain very deep. Why can't you people partake in this last miracle? That's why we come now to preach Biafran gospel. Biafra is our religion. Biafra religion is all about common sense. If you don't know how to make this thing, then you go and listen to Radio, in Radio Biafra. Radio Biafra will teach you anything you don't know. We saw a lot of our women, our guests. Let me tell you something. Because Nandekano is the founder of Biafra religion. His secretary, Caroline Uchenna, it's, also, it's a young girl. But that girl said that he is, she is ready, ever ready to make this history, to go far. And then now the colonel said, whenever women join this struggle, then Biafra will come more faster than any other person can imagine. How many people have been able to analyze what he said in that place? Because women, the power of this world today, belong to women. That's why you see um, the person that impeached Trump is a woman. It's a woman. Onya mafia, the mafia, this place, chief go mafia. It's a woman. Now, Beyonce sing, sing his own song, her own song, which everybody dance in discotheque. Who run the world? Yes. Who run the world? Yes. Information he is giving, she is giving to women. Because whenever women stand up, nobody has the power to bring them down. Nobody has the power to bring them down whenever women stand up. Then they tell you, women are the controller of this world today. Now they can't say it because inside the African gospel, we will preach the gospel of Nandekano because Biafra is our religion. All about common sense is what we are talking here. Now Nandekano bring up that girl Uchenna after Uchenna for left. Uchenna, Uchenna, Caroline. She is an attorney, attorney general. She is a lawyer. She has every quality a woman can have. That's why Nandekano picked her to become her personal secretary. How many girls have diploma? 
What are you doing with your diploma? You are using your own diploma to castigate innocent people. You are using your own diploma, what you read in the, in the school, to support impunity from Fulanis. Is it what you are doing? Many women, then let me say something here. Some people, those prayer warriors that is inside their own, yeah, under the umbrella of their pastor, those people that worship their pastor, or those people that know how to pray. Some people speak in tongue when they pray. Let me tell you, Allah be afram when they even went for, Allah be afram when he hear obuna, you can imagine. When you want to meet the, uh, yeah, prayer warriors, then you go and listen to Agonwa and Biafra in London. Then if you can see it, you will see how to pray. Agonwa and Biafra in London. You will see how to pray and how to preach the gospel of Biafra and how to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. She pray. She pray. There are a lot of people. Priest Kaha, na, 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 Luxembourg. There are a lot of people that know this thing. Women are standing up now. We are calling on women to stand up. We are calling on women. Happen in Europe, Biafra. Women should stop anything that does not connect with the, with the, uh, 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 things that will not benefit them. You people that are shroom why I'm on why in Aba. Unwa Baba Shere Biafra. What on Nam the Kano said. Casting. Now is the time we need you people to bring out story and make it how it will sound good. Bring out story and formulate it how it will sound good. Then, then you people will leave us the men to be doing your job. Gossip. The gossip you people should be start to gossip now is the gossip whatever Nam Kano said. Now, Nam Kano said, whenever women stand up, that Biafra will come more faster than you think. Then you see, a lot of women now understand that thing. A lot of pastors, women pastors, understand that thing now. That's why all of them stand up now. George, you want to go and Biafra, if you see you see see you can't stand her. Because she knows the history. She knows the history. So what we are doing here is we must preach Biafran gospel. Biafran gospel is all about common sense. Common sense. Biafra is our religion. In, in the internet is where we are worshipping now. Preaching this gospel the way it should go, the way it should be, until we will arrange ourselves. They say, Namdi, 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 Onyamu man Namdi, Kenetim Bunozara, eh, Onyamu man Namdi, 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 Onyamu man Namdi, Kenetim Bunozara, eh, Onyamu ma. How many of you notice what, notice what is going on there? How many of you? We will do this job. We are doing it already. They call you to pay for ESN. Yet, Many people, they stay back. Today, all Jews Okano that handed our land, the first Ruga, the first legalized Ruga in law between the Soch and the Loba, is all Jews Okano. All Jews Okano, let, me, let him send this message, this part to him. Because when Biafra is coming, this message will remain in eternity. Because all Jews Okano handed our land to Fulanis. And the Fulanis said that one cow is more valid than 100 Igbo people. And all Jews Okano said that he himself is inside cow business. Meaning, he value cow more than his own brothers. He said he cannot do Ruga in Ikwere where, he's, where, he, where he come from. But he can send them to Lord Buku between the search. We are the rape our women. They destroy our fan land. Yet, some people from Okiwe, some people from Ihube, from people from Isochi, from people from Loba, they still keep quiet. 
they allow all this impunity going on in that place. Then you are telling me I should keep on following you. You, should, you are telling me that I keep on listening to you. It's impossible. Completely impossible. The men, the wise men, they are talking now. If you are following what is really going on on the internet, they are talking now. Interviews are going on. Channel TV. Channel TV is hiding all the, all the information. But when they catch Sunday Boho, now Channel TV is publicating that one. When Operation Python Dance came, Channel TV, they turn it upside down because it's a Yoruba, Yoruba channel. We are not expecting how Safalani to do that. But today, on the Facebook, no matter how they block us, no matter how Facebook block us, we will do this thing. We will preach this gospel and let people know the first person that legalized Ruga is Ojo Zokano from Ikwere. He handed our land in Lord Banta and Lord Buku and the Sochi to Fulanis. And the one thing is that Nam Dekano said that they have taken that place forever. Forever and ever. If anybody watch this thing, let him let them tell Nam Dekano too. That ESN should go there too. Because Ofuonye Kezi has up to Obudu. And Eji Mako Ofuonye, where was up to Obudu? Oge Chineke Leranya, Os Ofus Ofum, Ofu Kediahaya, Mbom Sol, look up again. Nkasiyen and Ayanazo, Munya Sol, Leranya Nazo, Rogi Din. Then, Negro Bible, then you are here. For one person, you can save a nation. Or say, go and check if you can get one person. There are people that come from that place that is hardcore IPOB. Because we are begging all IPOB members to forward this message to Nam Dekano. The last progress, program he said, he said that those, those Fulanis in Law Banta, Law Buku and the Sochi, that they have come there to stay for life. Please, let ESN know what to do in that place because our women have been raped our our mothers cannot go to farmland again our mothers cannot go to their farmland again that place has been taken over and we cannot have somebody like nam the colonel and the every other person eh? then i was a will take that place they can never take that place because we 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 know what it means we know what history is all about the person that handed them over that land is Ojo Zokano. Ojo Zokano is a sabo Ojo Zokano is a, is a slave to house Fulani. so we cannot allow a slave to house Fulani to hand our land over to Fulani. why we all keep our hands fold we cannot do that so Anybody that knows, that knows any people, uh, people that come from Imo State, Imo State, Abia State, or Kigwe, precisely. Lopa, most Lord Mantama, Lord Buku, Mwisochi, Mwihube. Forward this message to them. Let them begin to agitate because their mother has been raped. Their farmland has been destroyed by House Afulani. And we cannot fold our arms watching over them to do that. There is a powerful message on there. I put it online. Oju kubeze na la biafra. Ederi ya naburi. Abakiari. Mamanda ura. Unapugi meri namdi. Nam the windy war, Python dance one, Python dance two, and Python dance three. Una pugi made in Nam de. Una now? Because Nostradamus said his army will liberate the entire Africa and the peace will come back to the world at large. I am trying to stop here because all we are doing is time. His army. Nobody knows the power of ESN. But if you know you are not donating to support ESN, please, I beg you people to change. Support ESN. Safeguard your father's land. If they kill you, they are going to renovate that place to a powerful form. 
we are going into what they call climate change. From climate change, then they will build that place with a computer robot we feel everywhere. And our spirit will go in one place, dying in agony, in our own land. Biafra is our religion. In Radio Biafra, we worship. Biafra religion is all about common sense. Bikonu, udo diru no munem. Namahadum kaino. Yadiru no namah. 